you, thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Tonight is a special night. And I see the signs already. The guest minister did not know that I'll be talking on the Holy Spirit. And yet he sang that the Holy Spirit will rest upon us. And that he, with his power, is all we want. Our minister here did not know I'll be talking on the Holy Spirit. And he opened John chapter 7, verse 37 to 39. Again, Holy Spirit. And the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, is here tonight. It will turn your life around. You will go from strength to strength. From power to power and from glory to glory, you will not miss it today. Special day, first of the month. Special day, the last day of the crusade. Everything tonight is special in your life. Father, we thank you and bless your name. You have seen us through this far. You have done a lot. And you are still going to do a lot in every life. We are asking Lord all mountains tonight in the lives of your people. Roll away in Jesus name. Here in this happy, happy Alpha location, Ogbomo Show, happy people. And all over online, all over on the radio, all over on the television, everyone will have a touch, a transformation, a miracle, signs and wonders in every life in Jesus' name. It is done. It is finished. All your problems tonight finished. Sickness tonight finished. And every heartache finished tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God has blessed you, you can sit down. Tonight we're looking at Romans chapter 8, and I read from verse 9. Romans chapter 8, verse 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ is none of ace. You will see there he mentions the flesh. The flesh is weak. The flesh eventually will die. The flesh does not have anything good, anything eternal, anything permanent for us. But in the spirit, in the spirit and now he reveals he declares he describes that spirit first of all he said if so be that the spirit of god the spirit of god then he says now if any man have not the spirit of christ First of all, Spirit of God. And now, second, Spirit of Christ. I'm sure you understand. It's still the same Spirit. Somebody comes out 
and he gives uh, wants to give testimony and he says my names are agnes Olurotimi jacob my names are one two three the same person and it's the same way that he is the spirit one he is the spirit of god two and he is the spirit of christ but the important thing is that he dwells in you it's no more overing over the waters in genesis it's no more here and there all over the universe yes it's omnipresent yet he dwells in you when the spirit of god comes and he dwells inside you all the glories of heaven the salvation of christ the goodness of god the spirit spirit of god spirit of christ when it dwells inside you goodness will dwell inside you grace will dwell inside you glory will dwell inside you all blessings that you need will dwell inside you give me a good amen when the spirit dwells in you all other tiny tiny spirits all other entities that refer to themselves as spirit evil spirit demon spirit sickness spirit spirit of infirmity and spirit of evil when the holy spirit comes in all the other spirits will find their way out and today every other spirit that had been tormenting your life harassing your life the spirit of god the spirit of christ comes in disease will find its way out evil will find its way out and all those dark powers tormenting your life ruining your life and they say they'll give you this uh, sickness and that disease and that evil and that bad luck when the spirit of god dwells in you all the others they will vacate their seat where they were amen we're still talking about possibilities and tonight i'm talking on sustained possibilities by the spirit of christ sustained possibilities all the possibilities we have got salvation will be sustained healing will be sustained deliverance will be sustained the power the boldness the courage of god in your life will be sustained the deliverance the dominion will be sustained every good thing the lord has done every good thing the lord has promised every good thing that he promises us when the spirit of christ dwells in you all those possibilities all those good good things as answers to prayer that we got from the first day to the second day to the third day and to the fourth day to the fifth day and to this final day everything will be sustained in your life in jesus name sustained possibilities by the spirit of christ there are three things we're looking at number one the present work of the spirit of christ the work that he had done he started in the past and he's doing it in the present and every day in your life he will continue to do that the present work of the spirit of christ number two the perceived works in the plural now of the spirit of christ the perceived works of the spirit of christ number three the profound wonders through 
the spirit of Christ. Look at number one. Number one is the present work of the spirit of Christ. When we say present, the same sun that shined yesterday shined today. The same sun that shined a decade ago shined today. The same sun that shined a century ago shined today. The same sun that shined at the time of Christ on earth, that same sun, there's no replacement, shined today. The same sun that shined at the time of Noah. It is no replacement. It's not a different sun. It's the same sun that keeps on shining to the present at the same spirit that moved at that time in the past is that same spirit that is moving today the same spirit that came and came with the power of the almighty god a century ago a millennium ago and thousands of years ago it is that same spirit that is at work today. Hey, let me show you something in First Peter chapter 1. And I'm reading there from verse 9. First Peter chapter 1 verse 9. It says, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. In verse 10. In verse 10 it says, of which salvation? The salvation where today the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you look at verse 11 it says searching watch or what manner of time the spirit of christ which was in them the spirit of christ which was in them the prophets of the past elijah elisha isaiah jeremiah ezekiel daniel the spirit of christ which was in them did signify when it testified of the beforehand and it says of the suffering of Christ and the glory that should follow. Uh, that, that, uh, that means then that same spirit in uh, Elijah that called the fire down is the spirit of Christ. At that time I told you the same sun shining today is the same sun that have been shining all the way through the same spirit that was in those prophets of old and they did wonders and they prophesied of the salvation that will come is the same spirit of christ look at verse 12 in verse 12 unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the holy ghost because in the holy ghost now the same spirit holy spirit holy ghost Spirit of God, Spirit of Christ, the same third person of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and then the Holy Spirit. And it says, was the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into, the works of the Spirit. The power of the Spirit and the glory that the Holy Spirit brings in our life is so marvelous and so wonderful that even the angels, they were searching and wanting to find out 
who are the people that will have the climax and the greatest of the work of the spirit now that work of the spirit let me show you what it did at that time what he does at this time in the percentage work of the spirit of christ in genesis chapter 6 verse 3 genesis chapter 6 verse 3 and the lord said my spirit the lord said the lord the god of heaven my spirit who is that the spirit of god the spirit of the lord he says my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years in the time of noah the world was corrupt and the holy spirit was the one convicting men this is evil in, at that time the world was dirty defiled sinful they transgressed the law of god and as the spirit of god that was striving with them convicting them reminding them troubling their heart telling them this is the way of evil that the work of the spirit of god he strives with men he pleads with men he says this action is evil this language is evil this behavior is evil and this thing that you are doing transgresses the commandment of god anytime you do evil anytime you go the wrong way there's a spirit of god that is saying why will you perish this is bad this is evil that is his work and that has been his work from the original time and then it says his day shall be an hundred and twenty years and eventually because they did not listen to the counsel of the spirit they did not listen to the conviction of the spirit that's why the flood came that's why the judgment came and today the same thing the spirit is warning us the spirit is alerting us the spirit is policing us the spirit is saying this is evil at that time that's how you want them and those who did not listen they perished in the flood at the time of noah and that same spirit now is saying all the works of the flesh that somebody commits the wickedness all the works of the flesh the idol worship all the works of the flesh idolatry adultery fornication lying hypocrisy envy fighting violence the spirit of god will not leave us alone he wants us and he says repent come out of this so that judgment damnation will not come upon your life those people the majority of them did not repent they perished they suffered they are now on the other side of eternity and they have been tormented forever and ever he comes again tonight reminding us that he is that spirit of christ that wants us and tells us to repent of evil in nehemiah chapter 9 reading from verse 13 nehemiah chapter 9 verse 13 how many years did thou forbear them and testified against them by thy spirit 
in thy prophets. That spirit was in the prophets. When David won, when Nathan won David, it was the spirit of Christ in him saying, Thou art the man. And when Elijah came to Ahab, and he said, You have sold yourself to doing evil. You have become mindless. Because evil has totally seized your mind. It was the spirit of Christ in him that warned Ahab. And when the angel, when the prophets came unto the people of Israel and said, You have transgressed, you have gone the evil way. Repent. If my people who are called by my name, if they will pray and return from their evil way, I will forgive their sin, I will heal their land. It was the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Christ, in those uh, proclaimers that want the people. Eventually, the children of Israel, you know, they didn't listen. And the Lord sent them to captivity. And the Spirit of God is still warning us today. The same Spirit is such yet many years thou didst forbear them and testified against them by thy Spirit in thy prophets. Yet shall would they not give ear. Therefore thou gavest them into the hand of the people of the lands. When we do not listen to the convicting voice of the Spirit of God, I will keep on doing evil, keep on doing evil, keep on doing evil. Eventually, judgment will come, condemnation will come, and if we die, in that condition, resisting the voice of the Spirit of God who wants us not to continue in our sin. If we die in the sin and in the transgression, we will suffer in the lake of fire, in hell fire forever and ever. God forbid in your life. That means that the Spirit is knocking at your door, knocking at your door. And you see, who is that? It says, I'm the Spirit of God. Why are you knocking at my door? You stole last week. That's why I'm knocking at your door. You told a lie this last time. That's why I'm knocking at your door. And you went into another man's wife. I saw you. The husband may not see you. And the woman may hide it from other people. And the spirit is knocking at your door. That's why I'm knocking at your door. And I'm warning you. Repent. Turn. Change. And let new life in the spirit come upon your life. If you turn a deaf ear to the warning of the spirit of God. And you die in that evil, you will not get to heaven. The people who go to heaven are the people that listen to the Spirit of God, warning them, telling them, Come out from among them and be ye separate. I pray you will listen to the Spirit of God. I will listen. I can't hear a more show people. You are listening in Jesus' name. Look at Acts chapter 7, verse 51. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in hearts and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. The people in the time, at the time of Noah, thousands of years before, they resisted the Holy Ghost. They perished in the flood. The people in the time of Moses, all through the wilderness, they resisted the voice of the Spirit. Many of them, thousands of them, hundreds of thousands, perished in the wilderness and he got to the land of Canaan read the book of Judges you'll find over and over they resisted the voice 
telling them, warning them, calling them to repentance. They resisted. Many of them perished under very tyrannical empires. And then you go on to the time of the prophets Isaiah and Jeremiah. And those prophets again, they watched them by the Spirit of Christ in them. Instead of repenting, they took Jeremiah. And he said, you will die. <laughs> Jeremiah said, all right, but understand, if you kill me, you are killing an innocent man because it's the Lord that sent me by the Spirit of God in me that wants you that you should amend your ways if you don't and you kill me you will face the judgment of God Micah Micah said I am full of the Spirit of God to declare the sins of Jacob and the sins of Israel there is one thing to do repent and as we listen to the Spirit of God and we repent life will come salvation will come and the goodness of God will come in our lives in Jesus name but have you seen the children of Israel, Jesus came and he had the spirit without measure. And he watched them yet as they did at the time of Noah, as they did at the time of Elijah, Elisha, as they did in the time of Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel. They continued and they resisted. And now Christ has gone to the cross. He died for our sins. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And at this time, Acts of the Apostles, they continued in their rebellion against the Spirit of Christ. He stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Ye do always receive the Holy Ghost as your fathers did, so do ye. And many of those people, because they resisted, and they will not repent. They perished in their evil, in their corruption, in their transgression. But thank God for the people that repented. You will be among the people that repent in Jesus' name. Let's come to point number two now. Point number two is the perceived works of the Spirit of Christ. The perceived works of the Spirit of Christ. Anywhere the Spirit of God is allowed to come in and to remain. Anywhere the Spirit of God has an open door and He enters into your life. He will do marvelous things in your life in Jesus' name. And tonight, the Spirit of God wants to take over your life, wants to rewrite the story of your life. He wants to make you much, much better, greater, higher than you have ever been. If you don't resist, if you repent, if you give your heart to the Lord and you allow His Spirit, the Spirit of Christ, to take hold of your life and to move you on and to control and to guide your life from today, blessings will come. Salvation will come. Healing will come. Deliverance will come. Look at Zechariah chapter 4 and I'm reading from verse 6. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Many things in our lives we cannot resolve by human might. Many things in our lives we cannot resolve by human power. And all those things we find impossible in our personal lives. 
in a personal strength in a personal ability all those things were find impossible we try to apply all the human knowledge we have gathered we have learned all these many years nothing happens it says not by might not by power but by my spirit the spirit of the Lord will bring solution to what appears impossible in your life in Jesus name by my spirit it says in verse 7 in verse 7 it says who art thou O great mountain before Zerubbabel thou shall become a plain before tell me your name I said before mention your name before you tonight all those mountains will become a plain in Jesus name he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings crying grace grace unto it as the Spirit of God enters and you listen to the Spirit of God what he tells you and he says you know your life look at this that's the spirit of god you know your life look at that that's the spirit of god you know your carelessness you know your fleshly life you know your dirty life you know those secret things that you do and you say i accept and you do not do like the people at the time of noah who went who waited for the flood to sweep them all away as you accept tonight and the spirit of god brings grace into your life those mountainous problems everything will vanish away in jesus look at romans chapter 8 romans chapter 8 and i'm reading from verse 2 in romans chapter 8 verse 2 it says that law of the spirit of life in christ jesus to see that the principle the power of the spirit of life in christ jesus has made me free from the lord of sin and death when the spirit of god comes is the one that actually testifies bearing witness with our spirit the spirit of god the spirit of christ bearing witness with our spirit that our sins are forgiven that our sins are totally crushed and cleared out of the way he is the one that makes us free from the law of sin and death look at verse 11 in verse 11 he says but if the spirit of him that raised up jesus from the dead dwell in you you should not allow the spirit to be outside you only knocking at the door only convicting your conscience only saying you've done it again this sin has become a terrible habit and you're getting nearer and nearer to the day of judgment if you open the door to the spirit of god and he comes in and he dwells in you he that raised up christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies that means all the parts that are dead in the body because of disease and because of sickness the spirit of god the spirit of life is the spirit of resurrection is the spirit of renewal from the top of your head to the tip of your toe every part that has been weakened and deadened by disease weakened and deadened by sickness quickening will come revival will come and a new life will come to every part of your suffering sick body in jesus name he will do it tonight i said he will do it tonight he comes to live on the inside of you he dwells in your mortal body and then his power quickening power 
is power, healing power. His power, restorative power, will change everything. You will be well. I will be well. You will be strong. I will be strong. By his spirit that dwelleth in you. You see that? By his spirit, the spirit of God. The spirit of Christ, by the presence of that spirit, by the power of that spirit, he will make you to be alive, to be healthy, to be well, and to be sound. Look at verse 13. In verse 13, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. He was talking to people who call themselves Christians. And he said, if you go back to the works of the flesh, to the defilement of the flesh, and you go back to all those activities of the works of the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body ye shall live now we have a choice what's the choice i said either to hold on to those defiling the basin acts of the flesh or we're going to die or to turn around and say no to the flesh no to all those debasing activities and sinful activities and defiling activities of the flesh and then hold on to the spirit of god and by the power by the presence of the spirit of god in us we mortify we deaden all those actions of the flesh you will live I said you will live. And look at 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. What the Spirit of God does in our lives. What He does in our personality. When we yield and surrender to that Spirit of Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all with open face beholding us in a glass the glory of the lord when you're in the flesh you can't see the glory of the lord but when you allow the spirit of god to take over your life to control your life to guide your life to lead your life and to be abiding present in your life he says through that spirit of god God were changed from glory to glory. You'll be changed from glory to glory. It says into the same image, the image of Christ. It is the Holy Spirit in us that makes our lives, that molds our lives, that monitors our lives, that matures our life so that we can be changed into the same image from glory to glory look at this even as by the spirit of the lord by the spirit of the lord many people know about god the father and those people know a little about god the son jesus christ and they are ignorant of the work, of the manifestation, of the present operation of the Spirit of God in our lives. It says we, all of us, with open face beholding as in a glass, as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord, we are changed into the same image he makes us more and more like christ and he says from glory to glory even as 
by the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight, as we allow the Spirit of God to bring salvation in your heart and to bring forgiveness and freedom, and it sets you free, and then he abides, he remains in your life. It will sustain the new life he has brought unto you in Jesus' name. Titus chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 5. In Titus chapter 3, verse 5, not by the works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. You see, when we are saved, he refashions our lives. He reforms our lives. He refreshes our lives. He cleans up our life by the renewing of the Holy Ghost, the perceived works of the Spirit of Christ. And when you allow Him today, that Spirit of God, Spirit of Christ, will come to your life. And when He's there, a change will be there. I said a change will be there. We're looking at number three here. Number three, we're looking at the profound wonders. Profound wonders something you never saw something you never felt something people have never seen in your life from tonight they'll see you and say you look new you look different you look special now you look special by the spirit of god tonight in jesus name uh, you know, you have been sick and everybody can tell. And when you are walking the way you are, they say, sorry, sorry, sorry. But no, after tonight, all the, those things, they look at you and they say, sorry, sorry. Everything will vanish away. If you are lame, you will rise up and walk like a soldier. Give me a boom of show. Amen. If you are blind, you will see. You will see far. You will see near. You will see on this side. You will see on that side. And when somebody is coming and he says, uh, Madam, I am so, uh, uh, I see you now. You think it was like yesterday. Today, today, I can see you. You will see them. You see the faces of your children because the Lord will open your blind eyes in Jesus' name. You know, every time you visit somebody, as you visit them, you say, Where's the restroom? Where's the restroom? And you, you run there and you come back. And then, uh, you know, that has been on now for years. And uh, you now visit somebody after tonight. And as you visit them, they say, The restroom. You say, I don't need that anymore. Uh uh. Why? Because the Spirit now has changed everything. If you believe it's for you, say Amen. Amen. Look at this, Acts chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, that's the secret of all the manifestations in the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us work place. The secret is the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit. The blind were healed. The secret is the Spirit of God that dwelt in him and the lame rose up and walked and the lunatics and the insane he healed them by the spirit of God how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power anywhere the Holy Ghost is there is power and that Holy Ghost is coming to you tonight he will come with power it will come with healing. 
it will come with deliverance and every other power that have been tormenting your life as the holy priest knocks at the door and you open the door he declares he says every other spirit check your way out every sickness check your way out because the power of the Holy Ghost will roll away all those infirmities tonight in Jesus' name. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. And tonight is going about there. Look at him there. He'll do good in your life. At the center there, he'll do good in your life. That corner there, he'll do good in your life. The person under the tree, and they just put you there, and they say at the end, they'll come and carry you. They will not come and carry you at the end. You will rise up yourself because the Lord Jesus Christ is there. And it's going to do good in your life. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. God is with him. He will do good in your life today. Salvation will come. He'll do good in your life. Healing will come. He'll do good in your life. Deliverance will come. All those chains they put on your hand. All those chains they put in your leg. Jesus, with the power of the Holy Ghost, is coming upon you right there. He'll break your chain. He will remove all the shackles of your life. It's coming to you now. Where are you? It's coming to you now. I rejoice with you. If you don't dodge, if you don't hide, if you don't just put your head down, if you don't uh, say, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to get all that, you will get something good. Tonight. Tonight. The final day. Every good thing you desire from heaven, it will grant unto you. It's bowed. And eyes closed. It's bowed. And eyes closed. You want the entrance of the Spirit. As He comes and He brings salvation unto you. The Spirit of Christ. As He comes and He brings forgiveness and freedom. As He comes and He brings the new life. You are there, you say, Spirit of the living God, come, confirm the finished work of Christ at Calvary in my heart. And you are asking, uh, Jesus knocks at the door. By the knocking of the Spirit of God into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart and abide and stay come in today come in to stay he will abide with you forever raise up that hand jesus is knocking at the door of your heart by his spirit he convicts you of sin he tells you the holy spirit will not deceive us he says this is bad this is the scene of your life. This is the defilement and the death in your life. And as you are ready to repent, and you say, Lord, I will not continue in them. Forgiveness will come. Freedom will come. And salvation will come to you this very day. Raise up that hand. You are the candidate for that salvation. You are the candidate for that forgiveness. You are the candidate for that freedom. If you are raising up your hand, please stand up. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. 
That's good, that's good, that's good. Stand up, stand up. Online, you want salvation, forgiveness, freedom from the evil cord of sin that bound you. You can raise up your hand and stand up on the radio. You're listening over the radio. You're listening and watching over the television. You raise up your hand and you stand up. And as you stand up, say, Lord, I turn away from my sin, tell him. I will not continue in those evil things anymore, tell him. The Spirit has convicted me. I yield to the Spirit of God, Spirit of the living God, convert me, change and transform me. He will do that. He'll turn your life around. He'll give you forgiveness and freedom. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. You are prayed. I'm going to pray for you now. And the peace of the spirit will enter into your life. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the revelation of the present work of the Spirit of Christ. The perceived works of the Spirit of Christ. And Lord, we pray as many as have felt the touch. The conviction of the Spirit of God and they fully, finally turn away from their sin and they look up to Christ as the Savior, the only Savior. Lord, I pray, forgive them in Jesus' name. And the power to go and see no more grant unto them now that the spirit of the Lord will dwell in them now and will give them victory over their past life in Jesus name Lord in everyone let there be the renewal of the Holy Spirit the regeneration of the Holy Spirit and the restoration of the Holy Spirit in every life that repents, turns to you and believes tonight in Jesus' name. Confirm that salvation. Let your spirit be a witness of their spirit that they are now children of God. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our officiating of us here will come now and lead us this time. And then I'll come back. There'll be healing and miracles tonight without number in Jesus' name. Congratulations. You are born again. We want our counselors to move very fast to attend to all those who have given their life to God. In the center there, on the right, on the left, and the far back. Please, let's be fast and be detailed. Let's move fast. You have given your life to Christ. The greatest decision in life. You must give correct address, phone number to the counselors. Counselors take their details. Our Father and the Lord has preached to them.
They are born again. They have been delivered. If you are standing over this, attending to you, beckon to the counselors and tell them, I am one of them. You are one of the candidates of heaven. Don't hide your identity. You are now a daughter, a son of God. If you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link gckhq.org slash connect below your player. Click and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new walk with Christ. If you are on television, on radio, and you gave your life to Christ, send your name, your phone number, your location address to via SMS or WhatsApp to this number plus three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three let me take it again plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two Let's be fast about the business. And let's write legibly. If you have given your life to God, you are standing. Nobody has attended to you. Please beckon to the counselors. There will be a special meeting lunch hour with Jesus for those who gave their life to Jesus. Let's go to every corner of the crusade ground. And after the counseling, let the counselors remain there. Let our ushers remain there. Because miracle prayer will follow now. After this counseling section. There will be a special online banquet for all those who are watching online. Who gave their life to Christ on Sunday, 6th of August, 2023. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Ugo Mashor Believers Banquet comes up on Sunday, 6th of August, 2023, at Deeper Life Bible Church, Okeanu, Ugumosho, by 3 p.m. All oh, converts, 3 p.m. on Sunday, 6th of August. Let's attend to all the converts, please. And when you are finished, the supervisor should raise the flag. We want our counselors, ushers, 
to remain in the congregation after they have finished counseling so that you will help those people who are raising up their hand that needed some help. You'll be an encouragement to them. If you are there, you are not you have not raised your behind. You can begin to pray. Today is my day. I will receive my miracle. Don't be an onlooker. Today is my day. I will receive my miracle. Miracle prayer is coming from my Father and the Lord. So be patient and be praying and tell the Lord I will receive my miracle. You will surely receive today. On my left hand side, if you have finished there, you can wave the flag. At the center and far back, if you are finished there, you can raise the flag. By the right hand, I can only see the flag on the right hand. And the far back at the right hand. Let's move to under the trees. When you are finished at the center, and at the left hand side, we can raise the flag. Okay, at the left hand side, we can see the flag there. So the people in the center should be fast. You are praying. I say, today is my day. Day of miracle. Today is your day. Day of miracle. Not tomorrow. Today. Let ushers, choir, counselors remain in the congregation to help those who needed help. We are still waiting for the center in the front and the far back. Miracle prayer is coming. Very soon. Your miracle is near. Your miracle is near. You will surely get it. You will surely receive it. At the center, we are still waiting for you. Supervisor there, we are still waiting for you to respond. Okay, I can see the flag there. I can see the flag there now. Be getting ready. The power of God will come down. It will touch you. You can rise up on your feet. <laughs> Praise the Lord. My time has come. 
My miracle is on the way. If the spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in your mortal body, he, the spirit that raised him from the dead, will quicken your mortal body. Healing will come there. Power will reside there. And every other power, every other spirit will get away from your body. This is the final day of this crusade and your blind eyes have to open. Your lame legs have to receive strength. And by tomorrow, you are walking about in the strength of the Lord. That swelling has to vanish away tonight. Everything they call sickness, they call disease by any name as to vanish away tonight. Where are you? Raise up that hand. And lay the other hand where you have the challenge. And make up your mind. That manifestation is coming your way immediately. Amen. Online, get ready, it's coming your way. Radio, television, all those viewer, viewers watching, it's coming your way. Young people, children, adults, praise the Lord. There is no partiality tonight. Father, in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, we acknowledge your presence here. As in days gone by, you went about doing good and healing all, healing all, delivering all that were oppressed of the devil. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do it again tonight in Jesus' name. <laughs> to the left, to the right, to the center, to the far back, everywhere on this ground, and online, over the radio, over the television, Lord, manifest that irresistible power. Heal your people in Jesus' name. Leprosy, you are healed in Jesus' name. Swelling any part of your body, it is gone in Jesus' name. Pain in the ankle, pain in the knee, and pain at the waist, pain in the arm, pain anywhere in your body. Pain, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who urinate without control. I pray control will come. Yeah. Diabetes type 2 or whatever type, be healed in Jesus' name. That pile and the blood coming out, the issue of blood for a long time, stop right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Uh, near fibroid, elephantiasis in the legs, whatever the swelling and whatever the root cause of that, be healed in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf, let sound come into those ears right now. Those who are dumb, Loosen all their vocal cords and make them speak out clearly in Jesus' name. Those who are blind or near blind 
or you cannot see afar off or you cannot see near or you cannot read what you need to read I pray that miracle of sight will come to you right now Lord open those eyes brighten those dim eyes now in Jesus name the Lord has power to mend your broken bones. Those broken bones come together now. Be aligned together now. Be joined together with strength in Jesus' name. One leg shorter than the other. One hand shorter than the other. Lord, touch them right now. Let that short hand grow out. Let that short leg grow out. On this final day, confirm that miracle in their bodies in Jesus' name. This was stroke. One hand, one side. One leg, one side. Lame, paralyzed. And you have to be using a stick. I pray the Lord heal you right now. Stroke be healed in jesus name heart problem be healed in jesus name brain cells be healed in jesus name the blood that is going on your body be healed in jesus name that person that has been on dialysis i pray the lord purify purge your blood system everything normalized now in jesus name those who are lame or wheelchair leaning on crutches whatever i send for the power of god unto you rise up out of that wheelchair and begin to walk Lord, everywhere, for everyone, on anything, they are asking you, answer their prayers right now. Let the barren have miracle children. Let the poor receive an open door into prosperity in Jesus' name. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere now, miracle. Signs and wonders, healing deliverances dominion victory in every life you've got it you have got it testimony in every mouth in jesus name i pray amen don't waste time don't waste time check up the miracle is there don't waste time don't waste time open those blind eyes get out of that wheelchair speak to the dead and they don't right there and whatever it is you are asking for it is done already come over here you have a testimony already amen